Welcome back to your daily dose of Disney, everybody. We are here in the morning at Epcot, and we're back at Disney. Had a little vacation over in Wisconsin, but I'm happy to be on back. And real quick, thanks for everybody for joining our live stream, the end of the month live stream, about two days ago. Thank you so much for all the support. That was amazing to see. But real quick, before we head on in here for Rope Drop, super crowded here in the morning, I want to send you guys back on out to the front of Epcot because I have some updates that I haven't really seen that I want to show you guys in the front of Epcot before I go head on in. We have a small little update at the entrance. There used to be refurb walls up on over here and this pathway actually just recently reopened while I was in Wisconsin. Brand new Epcot's entrance is finally kind of getting completed. This whole side looks to be about done. We just have the resort side where the resort guests get dropped off. This is a brand new entrance. Let's check it out here real quick, the new pathway. Right here in the morning, looks like we've got some uh, new plants over here as well. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Epcot, slowly but surely, kind of getting finished here. You know you come to Disney a lot when you get excited about a new pathway. <laughs> That's all of us here. All right, guys, have a good one, all right? This is going to drop off right by security. Let's go have a fun Epcot day. See, as we come on over here where the monorail is, and speaking of the monorail, I don't think the monorail is going to open up anytime soon here at Epcot. You can still see the fences are up on that side. However, everything is down on this side. So the left half of uh, Epcot looks to be complete as uh, we're still working on the right-hand side. Now the reason why I believe the monorail station here at Epcot is gonna be closed for a while is because there are no more monorail signs on top. Right there, they actually used to be here and here and Disney got rid of them. They could either be redesigning them or they just don't want them to be up right now and uh, letting people know that this is the monorail, even though you can clearly tell it's a monorail station. But uh, who knows, could be down for a while or they could just be simply replacing those. Let's head on in here to Epcot. We are here at Rope Drop. We'll be one of the first. We can go on the annual pass holder line. Kind of a small little update here. There are no social distancing signs on the floor. They are getting rid of those slowly here at Disney. No more outside of the front. We've got a very busy rope drop here this morning. Time is 10:14 uh, in the morning and they have not let in to Epcot quite yet. This is uh, definitely the busiest I've seen rope drop since about 2020 and most definitely the busiest I've seen rope drop here at Epcot. This year can totally feel the park capacity increase here in the morning at Epcot. It was nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. A mad rush. Looks like Test Track is gonna be the popular attraction of choice this morning. However, we're gonna go to Soren. I feel like going on Soren this morning. I just don't feel like going on test track. Maybe we'll catch it a little bit later. Let's head this way. Epcot officially let in today at 10.19 in the morning. A little later start than uh, we are used to seeing here for rope drop in the morning. But boy, oh boy, was it crowded out there this morning. Way more crowded than I've actually seen in a while. So that's kind of cool to see because we're getting back to normal. You guys can't really see it, but it does look like they have most. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> All right, what I was uh, meaning to tell you guys is that the points of light are basically all installed here on Epcot Spaceship Earth. So we're gonna have to wait and see when they do officially actually start doing that nighttime spectacular. It's just gonna be like a glowing of Epcot. I'll put some concept art in <laughs> the video right now, but they're kind of basically all installed now, which is cool to see. Just uh, waiting that show patiently for it to arrive. I'm excited to be back here at Disney though. Going home was great, but it's crazy. I was only there for about three to four days and we've missed so much Disney news. Disney news does not stop for anybody, but that's the awesome part about Disney that they're always innovating, always something new. That's what I love, but it uh, doesn't look like too, too many people went to soar. It looks like Test Track was definitely the favorite ride and it usually is the favorite ride. I don't think anybody was coming this way to go to Nemo in the morning. Good kid ride, but. Not really a rope drop ride. <laughs> I also made the decision in 85 degree weather to wear a black shirt. Not a good decision. Not a good decision, especially at Epcot. Always a bad decision. I'm gonna be sweating pellets today. Even though we are here for rope drop, I'm not really in a rush this morning for rope drop. We are gonna hit some of my favorite attractions this morning. Gonna buy some cool merchandise that I've had my eye on and uh, just have a nice fun Epcot day without 
being in a rush that rope drop usually is. So uh, if you guys haven't done so, go ahead and thumbs the video up. Let's go on and soaring. You can smell those flowers here in the morning. It smells amazing. Oh, wow. Walking up the ramp we go. Guess what I forgot? I always forget this, it's so bad. Cause now at Universal, <laughs> there's been a lot of Universal updates. And I was actually the first, I believe, to break that news. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, I share a lot on my Instagram account before it hits my YouTube. And it actually is pretty much a little bit more up to date, like faster than my YouTube. Universal, you don't have to wear face mask at all anymore. And I think Disney World is gonna be right around the corner. Just kind of forgot that I didn't even mask on to go indoors here. You know what I actually haven't seen? I haven't seen this awesome planet. And I know I did like attractions I don't usually do at Epcot. I don't know when this opens, but I haven't seen that. It opens at like 11. I should check that out sometime. Maybe it'll be open after we ride Soren. And the Garden Grill. Haven't dined there yet either. That's on my list. I have a lot on my list. If you guys have any recommendations, please feel free to uh, comment them those down below. I'll add them to my list of video ideas that I will be shooting. We're so, okay, I'm not gonna sing. We're not singing, we're not singing today. <laughs> we're not singing. It's gonna be a lovely walk on. It says a 25 minute wait. There's no way it's a 25 minute wait. Hello. Now keep in mind here at Soren, they will not be accommodating where you want to sit. You're just gonna be placed in whatever row accommodates uh, the best to the attraction. Just one. Thank you. Hooray! I haven't had row number one in forever! Yay! That makes me happy. Hello and welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. If you guys are going to wait right here, I'll be back in a moment. You guys are going to be the first two right here. Thanks. Uh, the first one. All right. Oh, this is new. There's no dividers here on Soren. I don't know if you guys can tell this, but there used to be dividers, not anymore here. Now we do have like the end seat. The ends aren't as good as like the middle just because it kind of like, you know, the screen bevels. We're still gonna enjoy it, but like if you're more towards the middle, that's gonna be the best seating for Soren. Thank you for joining us and enjoy your flight. Soren to tower. We are ready for takeoff. We sure are. Boy. Control tower all the way down there. There's the hub house right there. A lot of people say this is Africa too in Amalfino. We are the first to leave, which means no crowds as we walk on out, which is super nice. Super nice. Always try to walk out as fast as you possibly can on Soren, because uh, when there's a herd coming right behind you, it's really hard to kind of weave in and out, especially in the morning when we're in kind of a rush, you know, normal rope drop days. We got on Soren in exactly 20 minutes. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Oh, it looks like the Planet Watch is open. I think it's open. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> seeing this during rope drop, but I've never seen it, so let's go watch it. Curious to see actually what this is. I know it's a, like a like kind of a mini movie. Let's check it out. And it does tell you when the next show is. It says nine minutes. Again, don't really recommend doing this during rope drop, but let's go check it out. Good morning. Good morning. Never seen this before. It's my first time walking actually in this area. Awesome planet. <laughs> Looks like we're the only one in, <laughs> in the waiting area. That's so funny. Let's look at what this is. I haven't seen this before. 
Blake was just telling me, the cast member over there, he was basically saying, I don't know what this show is about. And he's like, this show is gonna make you really wanna travel and it's a show about how you can kind of help save Earth and preserve Earth. So let's go watch it. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty big theater. It's like I'm going to Broadway, which I've actually never done. Never been to Broadway before. We're gonna have this whole theater to ourselves. Um, it's a lot different than I actually had expected. All to ourselves. And it looks like they are still social distancing. Cool, let's grab a seat. Edelweiss. Edelweiss. <laughs> If you were looking for the perfect home, this would be it. I know it doesn't look move-in ready just yet, but trust me, this property is one of a kind. Hang on, hang on, it's still under construction, but it has plenty of potential and its value will only increase great. over time. Look what four billion years of remodeling did for the place. Nice, huh? And this thing was built to last. There are lots of neighborhoods to choose from. By the way, we call them biomes, and they're all great places to live. For example, if you like water, you're in luck, because most of the real estate on this planet is ocean. Check out where this exits. It actually exits downstairs. But holy cow, that was cool. You know, that was actually really awesome. Um, it's pretty cool, short little film. I love watching those kind of type documentaries about the Earth. The whole show has great speakers. There's a lot of wind effects, and I think there's some smelling effects as well. Just was really hard to smell kind of with the mask, but that was really, really cool. And at the end, they have a message about the Disney Conservation Fund because Disney is really, they have a lot of efforts to obviously conserve the Earth. They have a lot of solar panels. Epcot and Animal Kingdom are all contributing to those effects or like those contributions, but it's really cool. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, again, I love to watch those kind of things on Netflix, documentaries about the earth, the animals, and it all has that message about how we can help conserve the earth and uh, do our parts if you guys are into that. Soren has quite the line now. It is 11.23, hello, in the morning. It's 6.50, sorry, 600, oh my gosh, I can't talk. 65 minute wait, it's posted. Wow, I was struggling right there. <laughs> we have been in this pavilion for about an hour. It's time to get on out. <laughs> fresh air. And speaking of fresh air, it is so nice to take this off. I don't know how we did it, but wow, it's so nice to have a face mask off here at Disney, and, and especially because, you know, it's summer now. Oop, let me fix you guys here real quick. <sighs> it's just a relief. I don't know how we wore it for so long, but Glad we can finally remove these, especially for the summer heat. And something smells amazing. It's mixed with food and those flower smells that we were smelling as we we're headed on in. But you can't see it. I don't have much of a zoom camera, but the seasons, the new uh, mouse gears and where uh, Club Clue is go cool, cool is going, they have some cool, uh, <laughs> gosh, some cool glass installed over there. That should be opening sometime this summer. Sometime when this video is uploaded, I have a feeling we're gonna hit 60,000 subscribers. So I feel obligated, because at the time of feeling we don't have 60,000, but I think once this video goes up, maybe sometime today, we'll hit 60,000. So just wanted to say thank you guys for 60,000 subscribers. It's crazy, we've doubled since January. On our way to 100,000. Wonder when we'll hit 100,000. But I feel really thankful. So thank you to each and every single one of you for coming each and every single day on a nice daily dose journey. I've uh, worked really hard to get to this point and I really honestly do feel thankful for each and every single one of you for enjoying my work and what I love to do, make videos. So thank you to every single one of you. It's our next stop to uh, 100,000. We'll do it. We'll do it. Someday we'll get that silver plaque. As we are headed on in, I do want to keep my eye out for fast pass kiosks because I heard fast passes might be returning soon. Very, very soon. So I want to see if they have those mobile, like, you know, with like those little stations where they have fast passes. Those might be popping up. So I'm going to keep my eye out as we are walking on through. I haven't seen any quite yet, but I do have a feeling fast passes may be coming back. 
tiny little small update. You can hear a lot of noise going on in the construction of the new Epcot. They actually are working on the new seasons right there, the old mouse gears opening this summer, believe it or not, this summer. Very curious to see where uh, Test Track's line is at today because like I said, it was pretty crowded this morning. The longest I've ever seen it was all the way out over here. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be over here at the moment. And they did get rid of those social distancing stickers on the floor. No longer over here anymore. At this point, I don't really feel like Disney's gonna adjust their uh, social distancing markers on the floor to go to three feet. I feel like they're gonna stay at six feet and then they're just gonna get rid of it once GDC says it's okay to. So I don't feel like they're gonna adjust that. That's just my opinion. Cause I feel like it's a lot of work to do. Test Track has a posted 75 minute wait. I don't believe it's 75. There's no way it's 75 because I've seen it way longer than this. And keep in mind here too, look at that. No social distancing markers. They're all gone. Just inside the queues, not in the outside queues. Over here used to be a relaxation station. Those are now all removed here at Disney World because all of Disney World is now a relaxation station. You can take your mask off outside. You know, I find it funny that they still have this Epcot like center preview going on up because some of the stuff that they had originally announced in this show are now cut from like Epcot, like the Mary Poppins show. It's no longer in this preview. Uh, Spaceship Earth, which was supposed to get a refurbishment, is now delayed. They were all delayed, but they're no longer in the show. But I just find it kind of kind of sad in a way that they're no longer going to be part of this Epcot expansion coming. Still a cool pre-show. I love it. Was just walking past a cast member. Interesting enough, cast members still have to wear their face coverings on outside. I feel like if they can show that they're vaccinated, they should at least be able to wear them, not wear them, sorry, outside. I don't know, I don't understand. Heading on in to Mexico because I really, really want to purchase something. Hopefully I have the one that I want. Let's head on in there and uh, get a cool, interesting piece of merchandise here at Epcot. And luckily for us, it's not too long of a line to get on in today. I did just ask too, you do not need your face covering on until you get inside the line in the pavilion. You can have it off outside. Wearing this black shirt today was not the right choice. Don't wear black shirt in the middle of summer here in Florida. Don't do it. This was a mistake. I put it on, I knew it was a mistake. Sweating bullets at the moment. Inside the Mexico pavilion here, I've always wanted to buy merchandise in here more specifically the wood hand painted carvings that they have here in the gift shop over here on the left hand side we're gonna go see if i like one and uh they are kind of expensive so i don't think i'm gonna get a big one we'll see which one catches my eye but i do think it would look really cool on my desk let's go uh pick one of these out oh man there's just so so many to pick from 75 65 dollars so they are kind of pricey but they are so so cool honestly didn't know they were that expensive but look at that that is amazing all hand painted hand carved 250 dollars for that guy right there wow i really want this hippo 400 dollars they are pretty pricey, but I mean, the talent and the art behind this, that's why they're all obviously so uh, expensive. It takes a lot of time to do each and every single one of these. Pretty cool. I don't know which one to get. The smaller ones over here are about $20, but as you keep on going up, it goes from about 60 to 180 to 500. So Elba here actually told me that this one right here takes about seven days to make, and it looks like it is one grand. So cool though. So 14, two weeks to make that, to carve it, seven days to paint. Here elbow goes, she is going to start painting now. It's kind of crazy how long these actually take. Such talent, I'm still debating. I don't know if I'm gonna get one or not. There's not really one that is calling to me. And I feel like when you purchase art, it has to like, you know, call and speak to you. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I'll obviously vlog one when I do buy it, but nothing is really calling me at the moment.
And the cool thing about this merchandise is that it's obviously sold and there's ones that replace it that are totally different. So we'll come back, I'll keep checking to see if there's something that catches my eye. Currently not right now at the moment. Kind of expensive, the one that I want. See, this is why I want you guys to follow my Instagram because it's kind of like having you live here in the park when I am. I just asked if I should buy that and you guys all basically said no. So we'll find one that we do like, but that's gonna be it for our daily adventure here, our daily dose of Disney. Real quick shout out to Abby Kriesk over on my Patreon. Sorry, I probably butchered your last name, but thank you so much for being on my Patreon and sort of supporting me in that way. We're back here at um, uh, Disney World, finally. But uh, this month we have a lot to look forward to. Obviously we have our cruise coming on up in about 10 days, 10 days. Wow, we're going on a cruise and then Disneyland Paris and maybe Disneyland soon. So keep in mind, today we're gonna be traveling, or sorry, this month we're gonna be traveling a lot. But thank you guys so, for all the support each and every single day. Honestly, this never gets old, this is amazing. I love what I do and I hope you guys love everything as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow and that was your Daily Dose at Disney. Peace out. Jump around, jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up and get down.